ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Global Proving Ground 25 Gladiator Series 1. The first rule of the Fight Club? Everyone talks about the Fight Club. The Coliseum Fight Club, located at 333 Preston Avenue in Voorhees, New Jersey, is the largest, most complete combat training facility in the country. We are loaded with two cages, a full boxing ring, 10,000 square feet of mats, unique training in the largest indoor swim facility, cross training on an indoor AstroTurf field, and a 10,000 square foot weight room. Train under world-class coach Robert Navone with Next Level MMA and amazing kids programs with Spaz Wrestling. Call 609-923-2663 or go to MMAGymNJ.com. Champions aren't born, they are created. The first rule of the Fight Club, everyone talks about the Fight Club. Welcome back to GPG 25 Gladiator Series 1. Right now, we are looking at Ross Mata, who is making his way to the cage. His debut, 25 years old, standing at 5'11", fighting out of Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Expecting a lot of great things out of Ross. Has an excellent opponent in Niles Fuller. Jackson, take us about, talk us about Ross Mata. Now, Ross Mata, is, you're going to notice Nicotone, C-O-T-T-O-N-E, not C-A-T-O-N-E -E for you New Jersey people. There's two Nicotones. Two very high-level grapplers, two very excellent school owners here in New Jersey. Nick Catone of American MMA. He is a strong wrestler. He is in the New Jersey Hall of Fame. You can expect some, some excellent grappling here from Ross Mata, but these guys are also known for bringing the heat on the feet. Taking on a task with Miles Fuller, but you know what? Fighting out of Cherry Hill, New Jersey, like you said, a really tough gym with Nick Catone. His official weight coming into this contest was 157 pounds. Niles Fuller came in at 161.8, so Ross will be giving up a little bit of weight. Doesn't necessarily dictate the contest. I mean, he's got a ton of muscle packed onto that frame. Uh, Ross Mata's bringing the power to the cage here at GPG 25. Here comes Niles Fuller, also making his debut. 21 years old, standing at five foot eight, fighting out of Pensac in New Jersey. His strengths, he says, his strengths is boxing. He's gonna fight and keep it going. His heart, his coach always mentions his heart, how he might be defeated, but he always finds a way to keep it going. Again, out of Navone Next Level MMA, his prediction was, no matter how he fights, I'm prepared. You know, Navone has put together a great camp here at the GPG Training Center at the Coliseum here in Borges, New Jersey. So he is literally defending his home turf, turf here at GPG 25. All right, Jackson, let's take, uh, take a look at the tail of the tape between Ross Mata and Niles Fuller. Well, here's the thing you got to know. American MMA is right down the street from Navone Next Level MMA. So these guys are vying for bragging rights here in the South New Jersey area. You're going to see some bad intentions on those punches here. All right, let's throw it up to our ring announcer, Stephen Peacock. Our first fighter will make his debut appearance tonight. He is 25 years old and stands at 5 foot 11 and weighs 157 pounds. He represents American MMA and wrestling out of Cherry Hill, New Jersey. In the blue corner, Ross Mata. His opponent is a 21-year-old 21 21-year-old 21 fighter making his debut appearance. He stands at 5 foot 8 and weighs 161.8 pounds. He represents Nouveau Next Level MMA and hails from Pensacola, New Jersey. In the red corner, Niles Fuller. Here we go, Adam, Ross Mata, Niles Fuller at GPG 25. Niles, from what we've heard, Fuller has some power in his hands. Ross is going to want to look to get this down to the ground and quit. Ross Mata in the black and American flag trunks. Niles Fuller in the cage GPG trunks. First round starts. Mata's got that uh, traditional stiff, coiled, powerful wrestling stance. There's not a lot of just snap a, on his punches, but, they, but he's got some hammers. Stuns Fuller with a jab. Just a and jab, he, yeah. But, I mean, he didn't throw a jab. He threw a lead cross. He threw a power shot with his lead hand, yeah. setting up 
Looks like he's setting up the, uh, the side choke here. Fuller not doing much to defend. He's got to get that elbow down to the mat. Mata, Ross Mata paying very close attention to his corner. And he has a uh, brown belt, Ryan Minton, and black belt, Nick Catone, in his corner. Some very good advice from two extremely experienced martial artists in their own right. Very quick start for the action in round one. Ross Mata, Niles Fuller. You'll notice, uh, watch Ross Mata's right thigh. He's trying to leverage that elbow off the ribs. If he can separate Fuller's left elbow from his ribs, he may be able to attack the arm. But Fuller's just clinging on for dear life here underneath the very powerful, very aggressive Mata in the opening round of this uh, three-round fight here at GPG 25. Looking to soften up the body with those shots, but also looking to focus on that arm. Mata, a pit bull, latching onto that arm, trying to make that arm work. But you know, jiu-jitsu, it's, you know, when a, when a door closes and a window opens at him, and he's just trying to run head first through that door. He's got plenty of options here from Mount. He just breathes, relaxes, he'll find an opening soon enough. And in the meantime, just rain down some punches. Uh, I, I think he's just being a little bit too one dimensional right now, but despite that, still winning this round very convincingly. Falling back to that arm bar. A little bit too loose. Yeah. Ends up on his back. You gotta be careful, Adam. You gotta make sure all systems are go before you take off from the mount for an arm bar. Uh, I gotta say, Jackson, you called that one. I'm shocked. I actually thought the arm bar was gonna hit, but you being the pro fighter, you know a lot more than me. Good reversal from Niles Fuller. Now he's in full guard, but dominant position. You can see uh, Mata right now looking to set up the armbar on the left arm again from guard, but his guard is too low. He needs to climb his legs up, angle out, and pivot. He's just a little bit too low for that, so he's not going to get the right sort of, uh, of angle and position. And uh, despite all that, if he, if he coasts through this round on his back, so a very convincing first round performance from Mata should start round two already up on the scorecards. Final seconds of the very first round. Niles Fuller, Ross Mata. Great action in that first round, Jackson. Some good sportsmanship here there from uh, Fuller helping Mata up to his feet. Both corners take their corner. I would imagine if I was uh, Mata's coach right now, Nick Catone, I'd tell him just more of the same, man. More of the same. Close the distance, strike, get on top, and just rain hell from above. All right, Jackson, let's take a look at the highlights from round one. Boom. Stiff jab, puts Fuller on the canvas. Mata follows up like a bull, lands in mount. He's unable to really get anything going. Goes for the arm, but you'll notice his hips land a little bit too far away. That's the problem there. The hips need to go straight down. They need, don't need to go out. He misses that opportunity, but still ends up in a very good position coming into round two. Now you see Rob Navone giving the instructions to Niles Fuller. If you were Niles Fuller's coach, what would you be saying? Say, move your head, be first. I, especially at this level, you got to be first on these exchanges. Be aggressive, be first, because you know Mata is not going to wait to try and take your head off. You might, some of the fans out there might also note in Niles Fuller's corner, who is also a new member of Navone Next Level MMA, is Mike the Bethlehem Brawler Liberto. Shout out to Mike Liberto. Shout out to Bethlehem PA, home of the Sands Arena. Some great MMA action going on up there as well. Second round, we have Niles Fuller in the cage GPG shorts. Ross Mata, American flag, black trunk. Nice leg kick from Ross Mata. Follows up with a stiff one-two, not enough to put Fuller on his back, but uh, you can just see the, the power that Mata has in the clinch. Fuller with his own takedown. Excellent job from the quote-unquote boxer here. He's showing his true mixed martial arts skill set taking down the very game grappler in Mata. Not only a great takedown from the boxer, but lands inside mount. Now in you know full guard, but nonetheless an excellent takedown. We didn't see a lot of savvy grappling here from Fuller inside of Mata's guard at the end of the first round, but he's got plenty of time right now to pick his shots, pass the guard, and really make something happen for himself. Ross Mata looking to posture up, looking to get ahead and stand up. Is he looking for the guillotine? Let's see. 
you know, it's, it's really tough to get the guillotine sunk in with these gloves, but, um, to, you know, standard wrestler approach, grab the head, squeeze and control from the head. Um, he does have a nice guillotine set up, but Foley's doing exactly what he needs to do. He's basing out, flattening up, and a lot of times in these situations, although you avoid the submission, you have to sacrifice some position, so it's a win-win for Mata either way. Ross Mata now in side mount, dominant position. Not exactly sure what Mata's fishing for, uh, but he's the type of guy that if he grabs you and starts squeezing, it's gonna hurt anyways, and he's been very effective with that approach so far, so you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, Adam. One thing I will say about Ross Mata is, I, I mean, even though it's his debut, he's not too overzealous. He is paying attention to his corner. You can see him looking when he's in dominant position to see what they have to say instruction-wise. Right now, for example. That's, you know, that's, that shows a lot of composure. A lot of guys just sort of freak out, black out, and just duck and chuck in their first fight. All their skills going out the window. Mata right in the mount, gets Ubud back onto his guard. So close, but so far away for Rich Mata. Trying to make something stick here on the ground, but unable to against the very game and very sneaky Miles Fuller. Back and forth reversals. Now it's Miles Fuller on top. Again, excellent fight. Ten seconds left in the second round. Niles Fuller, Ross Mata here at GPG 25 Gladiator Series 1. You know, Ross Mata, he's got, he's got the position, he's got the skills, he just lacks the depth of techniques from these positions to really finish. But uh, excellent showing here in round two from both these fighters. Really impressive groundwork from Fuller. Um, I think we're going into the third round even. And each of these fighters is going to have to make a definitive statement coming up in these next three minutes to really come out on top. Jackson, take us through the replay of round two. Great round. You know, big leg kick opens up Fuller, but Mata coming in a little bit too aggressively. Fuller catches his breath, uh, gets his orientation back, and then a big, big body lock takedown here against the very tough grappler in Mata. That cinched the round to the Navone next level product, product Niles Fuller. You know, these guys are making some good adjustments in between rounds to really deal with what the other guy brings to the table. So this third round, is we're going to see who, who wins in the strategy of this chess match. Uh, both fighters looking pretty fresh as well, coming in, fully taking some deep breaths. So Mata looking slightly fresher, but you can never tell just, None from, the, uh, just from the appearance. Nonetheless, like you said, they're, they're both still in it, looking like neither of them are too, too gassed. Both of these fighters, this is their debut. And I got to say, I'm, I'm impressed. They look like they've had a couple under their belt, but you know what? This is only number one for them. You know, each, each fight is a learning process. You throw what you got against the wall, you see what sticks, and you revise your game plan going in, and that's, that's the beauty of having an amateur career. You can just work out all the kinks before you get to those pro levels and really make these happen. Now, we're talking about a guy like Frankie Edgar, couple amateur fights, he was quick to learn, he went pro, won a, won a couple fights, he, he didn't even win that many before he got to the UFC, so you know, it really helps to have a strong amateur program. New Jersey State Athletic Commission, one of the best amateur mixed martial arts uh, programs in the country, they take great care of their fighters and, and provide some really great opportunities for the up, these up and coming athletes. Now, Mata just, you know, he's just trying to make lightning strike twice here on that feet with that stiff jab. He needs to relax, open up, and just, you know, let his hands and feet go. Final round between Niles. You know what? Niles Fuller seems like those leg kicks are really affecting him. Like, he doesn't know how to check them. But, I mean, Novone, next level MMA, that's ground number one to cover. Well, but the thing these, is, these leg kicks are affecting him, clearly. You know, when, when you adopt that boxing stance, when you turn your body sideways and, quote, unquote, halve your body, uh, you really open up those leg kicks. It's very very difficult to open the hip and check the kick. Mm -hmm. So it's a trade-off. I mean, any decision you make strategically comes with its advantages and disadvantages, and a smart fighter is just going to exploit the weaknesses that you're presenting to him. So some smart techniques from Mata. I'd like to see him follow up with a couple more leg kicks. Just throw caution to the wind and just whip that leg down. It's landing every single time. There we go. Every single time he throws that kick, it's landing. Then he steps back out, scratches his head, and asks himself, how do I hit him? Well, throw the kick again. Just keep throwing the kick, it's easy. Fighting's not hard. 
Nice right hand from Mata over the top. <laughs> and Niles Fuller touching his chin, saying, bring it on. I'm just waiting for that overhand right from Niles Fuller. He's got maybe. that, he's channeling the uh, Dan Henderson H-bomb there. Just cocking that right hand up at the chin. Looking to unload, but Fuller not giving him any opportunities to drop that bomb over the top. Ross Mott is clearly staying more active, and I mean, making it really difficult for Niles Fuller to throw anything. There goes the Big overhand right, right like you said, Miller. but I mean, Ross Mott is staying more active, gaining more points. Like you just said, he was going locked and loaded, getting it geared up. Uh, what, what's great about this round is right now is that you got both guys looking to ran, land that just Hail Mary overhand right. And uh, not, not the, the easiest punch to land if you don't set it up properly, but very dangerous. And this is where Mata wants to be closing out this third round. Sprawl, get on top, lock up the neck. Easy, easy uh, counter takedown here from Ross Mata. Uh, I would consider that a, a very strong strategic mistake from Fuller, but I like that he went for it, Adam. I like that he tried something new. He went out there and took a shot on his own. I mean, when the round's closing, you really have to throw a Hail Mary. I mean, if you want to win the contest, you got to go for it. But you know what? Ross Mata stayed more active this round. He put the pressure on Miles Fuller, and uh, I will say this round was all Ross Mata. All Ross Mata, but we're seeing some of that hot, that heart that Coach Navone was talking about and Ra Niles Fuller, he did not quit. He went out there and although his grappling was not his strongest area, he was not afraid to engage and try to make things happen for himself on the ground. So props to the young Navone product, Niles Fuller, on his performance. It would be very difficult for me to understand any decision other than that going to Ras Mata. Um, Ras Mata represented his academy very well here in his amateur debut at Global Proving Ground 25 in this Gladiator Series event. All right, Jackson, great fight between Ross Mata and Niles Fuller. Take us through the replay. And we close out the third round here, Ross Mata on top, just an uh, uh, overt show of dominance, mount, ground and pound, and uh, you know, really just putting the nail in the coffin, a nail in the coffin, excuse me, with every one of those punch landing to the body. Much respect to Fuller, very strong performance. All right, we're going to go to break, but when we come back, we will have the official results for Niles Fuller and Ross Mata here at Global Proving Ground 25. Batteries Plus bulbs keep stacks of batteries for cars, cell phones, watches, plus light bulbs for lamps, can lights, and appliances right on hand. Did I mention we also repair smartphones? Batteries Plus bulbs. Trust the plus. Visit Batteries Plus bulbs today. Welcome back to GPG 25. Let's throw it up to Stephen Peacock for the official results for Niles Fuller and Ross Mata. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored the bout 30 to 27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, came from the blue corner, Ross Mata. Very strong performance here, Adam, from Ross Mata. Uh, I, I might disagree with 30 to 27. It really doesn't matter in the end. But not to take anything away from Fuller, he put a strong performance out there, a very gutsy performance. Uh, could arguably have won that second round. That one's a coin toss. But Mata just did a really good job of controlling the positions in the first and third. And that's what really won him this, this fight. So nice stiff jab from Mata opened up this fight here in the first round. but. Fuller was not to be counted out. Counters with his own takedown and dominant performance in the second, but it's all Mata in the third. Dominant performance from the mount. Cinches this win for himself here at GPG 25. We will be back for more GPG 25 Gladiator Series 1.
Global Proving Ground is sponsored by Barb's Harley Davidson, Black Rifle Coffee Company, We Hate Mondays, Headblade, the ultimate head shaving razor, and G Fuel, fuel your life. The first rule of the Fight Club? Everyone talks about the Fight Club. The Coliseum Fight Club, located at 333 Preston Avenue in Voorhees, New Jersey, is the largest, most complete combat training facility in the country. We are loaded with two cages, a full boxing ring, 10,000 square feet of mats, unique training in the largest indoor swim facility, cross training on an indoor AstroTurf field, and a 10,000 square foot weight room. Train under world-class coach Robert Navone with Next Level MMA and amazing kids programs with Spaz Wrestling. Call 609-923-2663 or go to MMAGymNJ.com. Champions aren't born, they are created. The first rule of the Fight Club, everyone talks about the Fight Club.